storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. What is up, Storm Chasers? We definitely got some good topics we need to get into really quick. Niecy, Nash, Adele. And in addition to that, we got to talk about LaToya looking and really why two out of three of these individuals today is not really keeping it all the way real. And as you guys know, whenever they don't want to keep it 100, Storm is going to come in to keep it 1,000. Adele. Now, we all love Adele. A white woman with soul. Even though I always say there are a million overweight black women in the church that sound 10 times better than Adele. But since Adele got the black woman's voice and the white woman's body, you will be able to make a billion dollars off of her. This is a formula that Hollywood and the music industry has used from the beginning. She's out there in West London at Nottingham, and she was at the Carnival celebration. Now, Carnival is supposed to be like a Caribbean celebration where everybody dresses up, they get together, they dance. <laughs> like the the caribbean garb i don't exactly know the name for all the stuff i just know i be seeing bikinis feathers everybody's scantily clad but most of all everybody's having a good time now adele is currently being dragged by social media because she decided to wear a jamaican bikini top and in addition to that she got bantu knots in her head and this is why y'all are deciding to drag this girl online. And I'm sitting here looking at it, and I'm like, y'all mad about some Bantu knots? Not on Adele. I could see if this was on Kylie Jenner, if this was on Kendall Jenner. But we have no reason to be dragging Adele. Adele is one of the few ones that are on our side. She's one of the few ones that is an ally for us. She actually, like, she actually comes in and respects the black artists that have paved the way for her black sounding ass. So why are y'all dragging her? Simply because she decided to get some Bantu Now She wanted to fit in with everybody else too. First off, we all appropriate other people's culture. I don't give a damn what culture you got. There is a culture out there somewhere in the world that you will find something cool about it that you want to incorporate. Um, if, if it could be Native American culture, it could be South African culture. We all take and use from one another. The issue that I have is when people don't give props to where the shit came from. For example, when Kylie Jenner said that she inspired women to wear wigs. Ma'am, women have been wearing wigs since before your daddy was wearing wigs. All right, then when you had the Kardashian braids, and I'm like, I'm sorry, corn rolls? Like, it's stuff like that that we need to be upset about, and it's okay to call that out. One of the reasons why you always hear black people speak up of our culture appropriation is because when we do certain things that are keen to our culture, right? Braids, dreads, uh, talking a certain way, big hoop earrings, uh, lip gloss that's popping. It's seen as ghetto, it's seen as trashy, lower class, and we have been convinced by the dominant society to let those things go in order to be a success, only to turn around and see them copy the very same shit that we threw away. So that's why a lot of people be having issues with that. That's why black people are especially sensitive to cultural appropriation. Now, some of y'all are going to comment and say, well, Storm, what about weaves? Is that not cultural appropriation too? Well, technically, it ain't not culture, technically. However, the difference is when we take on other people's culture, when we take on their hair, it's seen as professional in the workplace and it's acceptable. Now, it's kind of weird because it's acceptable and people make fun of it at the same time. But I don't give a damn what nobody say. You can wear a weave and still get a job. You wear your natural hair, uh, you might have some issues if you work in corporate. You might you you are going to incur more issues, and so that is why people are especially sensitive to cultural appropriation. But y'all 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 you know you you folks on social media y'all tripping with this not a deal. And let me tell you something. Between Adele's new body, she got a BBC in her life. She ride now. She didn't she didn't got divorced from her man. She really didn't want to be with anyway, but she only stuck it out with him because she messed around got drunk off that brown and got a baby bomb and he didn't took a huge chunk of her net worth let me tell you something adele has shit to lose at this point she is absolutely living her best life and i'm here to let you know that her new album whenever the hell it dropped rumored to be december but whenever it drops it's going to be absolute bomb. All I ask, Adele, is that we don't see you twerking and doing all that. We want to see you stand in one spot and sing. You know, you are very Mariah Carey-ish. You know, your body ain't used to being that small. So if you try to start dancing like Megan Trainor and try to start throwing that ass in a circle, I just don't think it's really going to work out for you. So let's do one thing at a time. You know, we we, we still ain't completely convinced it's you, Adele. You know, it might be a, a clone. You was kind of looking Katy Perry-ish in the damn, you know, photo. But anyway, I say all that to say, 
Y'all leave a devil alone. It's a lot of cases of cultural appropriation that need to be called out, and this is not the one. So let's move right along and talk about Latoya Lucky, right? And we we love Latoya Lucky. You must begin to name that you let me. Latoya Lucky, low key, you need to go back and listen to your own music and, you know, take some of that advice that you've been giving out to these ladies. Please don't be the Beyonce of this shit here and talk about all the single ladies and independent this and bootylicious that and still sticking around with an ugly cheetah. Please don't do it. I'm sick of you ladies being cheated on by ugly dudes. It just ain't cool. But anyway, I say all this to say, Latoya Lucky is attempting to deflect the negative press around her husband allegedly being caught with the mistress by talking about the fact that she left Destiny's Child broke, she was homeless, and she was eating oodles of noodles in her car. Now, I gotta tell you guys this. This story of her being broke after Destiny's Child absolutely does not surprise me. Y'all gotta stop assuming that just because you see people on a record, just because you see people on TV, movies, shows, whatever, that they get paid a lot of money. A lot of them don't. In addition to that, ain't no taxes taken out of the money that they make. You're in a group, you gotta split it five ways. The record label's getting everything. Beyonce Daddy was the head of the group. You know, he was he was the fifth member of the damn group or whatever. Y'all y'all thought it was just you know uh, uh, Latavia. What what was their damn names? Latoya, Latavia, Beyonce. Calendria, Michelle, I didn't forgot. If there's any others, I didn't forgot. I didn't forgot. But I'm just saying. But 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 Matthew with one T, his ass was in there too. And so by him being the head of the group, he he dished out the money to everybody. And believe me, Beyonce got the biggest cut. Kelly was after that, and everybody else, you got paid per diem. So I joke, but I'm keeping it real. She was never paid a lot of money. She got kicked out of the group. Why exactly? We'll never know. Was Matthew trying to put that thing on her? Maybe he was trying to do it to Farrah. That's the one I forgot. Farrah. The one they sent home, Farrah, did you ever get your luggage? I had to go straight to the airport. Okay, I don't right. have no luggage. I'm, I'm rolling. Well, it's better for you to go home than not have luggage. No, it's not. No, it's not. Because where y'all coming out there? Well, somebody can send your luggage. But then I'm going to have to wait for four days before I get all my stuff. The fact that Latoya Lucky left that group and she was broke is absolutely no surprise to me. But I'm glad that she dug her way out of homelessness. She found herself. She found exactly where she belonged. And she is doing much better today. But Latoya, I saw on that Instagram live where you talked about that experience in Destiny's Child, your ass broke down to tears. And I'm like, ma'am, you are not crying because you was homeless or you was eating oodles of, oodles of noodles. You're crying, ma'am, because you might be going through a divorce right now. You're crying, ma'am, because allegedly your husband is cheating on you. You're crying right now because the very same pastor that was, you know, you know, counseling y'all over y'all marriage problems also has been caught up in infidelity. And so it was just a whole bunch of infidelity going around. You feel betrayed. You pregnant once again with a child that you actually did not even want that your husband pretty much forced upon on you and he got the nerve to cheat on you 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 not you not in a good headspace right now and that's what's causing you to cry not the fact that you was kicked out of destiny's child 18 some years ago we don't care anymore moving right along from that we got to talk about niecy nash right now niecy nash niecy nash is one of my favorite actresses and comedians low-key you know niecy nash no matter what she does is actually funny not tiffany haddish funny like not naturally actually funny like like niecy could do stand-up and i would actually go watch it but i love niecy nash because how she came in the game is really how she gonna lead the game she came in the game looking like a, a black woman and she still looks like a black woman to this day you know how a lot of times they come in brown skin and leave with that ashy feline cat type of look and i'm just like wait a minute now everybody ain't light skin everybody's not this damn ashy for no reason you know the bleaching is real but y'all ain't heard that from me so Niecy Nash took to her IG the other day to announce that she is married to a woman by the name of Jessica Betts, right? And and it, it, it threw me off because at first I was like, wait a minute, is this a plot line for Claws? I said, no, nah, because Claws is already canceled. Then I was like, well, damn, I know Reno 911 came back. Is this like something to do with that? And I'm like, no, I don't I don't think it does because when I started to read the comments, I saw com um, other IG comedians like Lala Milan and other people say that they have held onto this secret for a while now. So basically, this this shit is real people this shit is real now i know you guys are trying to figure out wait a minute she's been married to men she has kids how can she be with a woman first off this is what i gotta understand 
bisexuality is a real thing and there are a lot of people out there that are bisexual that you just never know about first off let's talk about who jessica betts is first off she is the stud in the relationship she is the man in the relationship because carol denise took her name all right so she's wearing the strap we always ask who's wearing the strap it's Jessica. Jessica! Second of all, Jessica is a rock soul artist that has been making music since the year 2000. You guys probably remember her from the 2005 show Road to Stardom, which was some reality show that Missy Elliott had where they were pretending to help these people. She was, was Missy trying to get her Diddy on real quick? Was she trying to get somebody else in the slave contract? Was she trying to get somebody to lick the bottom to get to the top? She probably meant Eva not too long after that. Anyway, besides that, Jessica makes music. She pretty much minds her own business. I listened to some of her music. I wasn't too much into it. But overall, she seems like an okay person. Now, are you tired of being fat as hell? Are you sick of your breasts hitting your lap when you sit down? Are you embarrassed every time you go by and people think you're pregnant, but you really not? You just had a big burrito last night. If you were going through them problems, and guess what? I got a solution for you, and your solution is going to be found in Nutra Burst. Now, before you get mad, let me let you know, in addition to using Nutra Burst products, you're going to need a healthy caloric deficit diet. But one of my favorite products that Nutra Burst offers is called Resolution Drops and Life Drops. And I'm telling you, they help me not eat as much because, you know, I'm a cookie monster. I'm a slave to that pata pata monster. So if you're a slave to the pasta and the cookies like me, get you some resolution and some Life Drops. My link is in the description box below one thing about Nisi Nisi is going to be married no matter what because her marriages if you look through her timeline of her life have pretty much been back to back so the first husband she married was Don Nash she married him in 1994 they had three children together Dia Nash Dominic Nash and Donyell Nash all right and that marriage ended in 2007 keep in mind he ran a church she was the first lady of the church and they had a lot of issues because you, you know it was kind of hard for her to be in the church and moving along to stardom right because Nisi Nash low-key has been out here making moves since the 90s but she didn't really get her first big hit until she got on Reno 911 in the 2000s so that marriage ended the black church left as well and everything else went by its side all right then you move on to the second marriage to Jay Tucker that's the one that you guys probably remember they got engaged in 2010 tied the knot by 2011 and was filing for divorce in December of 2019 and a lot of people kept trying to figure out why that marriage fell apart basically the marriage fell apart because jay had issues with how nisi was changed but i think it's deeper than that i think nisi was changing but nisi was changing in multiple ways all right number one nisi had got some plastic surgery to her body nisi got what was called basically a mommy makeover she's a naturally courageous woman she didn't spit out three kids she was ready to have a flat stomach uh, uh, perfectly rounded hips and she was ready to set her titties up it just was what it was she wanted to do that to make her feel good her husband had a problem with that then he started to have issues with the fact that her sex scenes on the show claws got more and more raunchy pretty much and he probably wasn't even so mad at the raunchiness you got to understand with men it's always like an ego thing so he probably didn't like his wife being drilled out by a white boy on tbs or tnt or whatever even though it's just acting it's an ego thing and it's how it looks to his you know his family and friends so that started to call issues but honestly i just believe that as nisi got older all right and she started to search spirituality more she started to you know take on these mentors she had all these conversations with oprah now i don't know why nisi ever went and got marriage advice from oprah oprah is not married oprah is the man of her relationship that runs the shit and if you want a successful man i i just i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't talk to oprah i'd rather talk to Inala. i know y'all like i ain't talking to the yoruba priestess i ain't talking to that witch but I like what Iyanla be talking about versus, you know, Oprah when it comes to relationships, all right? Go to Oprah for business. Not, not a relationship, all right? Unless you want to keep your man in the shed on the property. But everybody ain't got it like that to do it like that. All right, moving right along from that. I also believe that basically, as time went on, Nisi really wanted to explore more of her lesbian side. I believe that it had to be repressed when Nisi was married to her first husband and she was in the church because it's something that's frowned upon. And then as Nisi began to build her brand, it's a lot of black Christians that supported her. And I think Nisi just felt like if she had came out earlier, that it would have basically messed up her business. And so she kept that on lock. And so 
Maybe she was messing around with women on the side. Maybe she wasn't. I don't want to put that on her. Maybe she truly has been faithful. But I just believe that she has been wanting to explore this side. I think this is where she's more comfortable. And after all these niggas messing over her, she ready to see what a stud do. I'm just saying, low key, a lot of y'all thinking about doing the same thing. You know, you have mess, been messed over by man after man after man, and you go out to the club after that man that messed you over and a stud approach you, and you just be like, what the hell? And before you know it, you in love and getting married. Because like I said about Nisi, one thing about her, she going to get married. I also want to just remind you guys that Storm was right. Because what I tell y'all ass is just a couple weeks ago, I told y'all that in the black church, it's like 50% LGBTQIA plus anyway. So I don't know why they be so damn hard on the gays when most of them are. They either gay or they cheating. And if they ain't cheating, they eating. I'm just saying. And if they ain't eating, they beating their wife and kids. It's, it's, it's a bunch of shit in the church. So I don't know why they be acting like it don't be going on when it's just like, really, you ain't seen the music director? Oh, we just gonna, we, we ain't gonna look at the, we just gonna ignore the choir director. We just gonna ignore his friend that's been there, you know, by his side 30 years. They live together. They still roommates at 55. They, they, they fr okay. All right, all right. All right. All right. Cool. So all in all. Niecy Nash being married to a woman, I ain't that damn surprised because, well, she been by the whole damn time. It's probably why she ain't worked out with no man because she was just really meant to be with a woman the whole time. So I think she's built herself enough in her career to where even if the black Christians walked away from her, it ain't really going to tear her down. And they not. It's 2020. It's cool. This is the year where everything is being exposed anyway. And so shit is going to come out. So we wish them the best. And it is what it is for Adele, LaToya, and Nisi. All right. So I wanted to let you guys know that if you want to do business on my channel, email me at stormmonroebusiness at gmail.com. You can also email me at monroestorm59 at gmail.com. But hit the business email so I know it's exactly for damn business. In addition to that, guys, make sure you follow me on IG, Storm Monroe TV, And I will be creating another Facebook soon as well join my member side if you want conspiracy videos and those will be dropping what today's tuesday monday tuesday whatever those will be dropping tonight so like comment subscribe share if you care asia your skin looks amazing what are you doing thanks girl i discovered these life-changing products called shaw's creations i've been using their toning up package and it has really made a big difference and they have products for everyone so if you have dark spots stretch marks acne pimples sun damage psoriasis eczema or age spots anything they have products for you so you should call them today i'm gonna call right now call 240-288-3414 that's 240-288-3414 or visit shazcreation.com uh, it's storm show Ay, it's storm show